In today's video, we're going to take a look at the anatomy of the urinary system, with a focus on the structure of the kidneys. We've already seen in previous videos that the three main roles of the kidneys are to remove waste products like urea from the blood, regulate the levels of ions in the blood, and also to regulate the amount of water in the blood. To do all of this stuff, blood constantly cycles through the kidneys, passing in through the renal arteries and out through the renal veins. From this blood, the kidneys produce urine, which passes down the ureters and is stored in the bladder until we urinate it out through the urethra. To properly understand how the kidneys make the urine is kind of complicated. And to explain it, we're going to have to take a closer look at the anatomy. Don't worry about remembering all of the words we're going to mention though. Just try to understand the overall process. Now, if we were to slice one of our kidneys down the middle, in what we call a cross section, then it would look like this. And if we zoomed in again, like with a microscope, we'd see loads of these tiny structures, each of which we call a nephron. The yellow part is the tubule and carries the filtered fluid that's going to become urine. Meanwhile, the red parts are the blood vessels. The process starts up here with filtration, which is where some of the liquid part of the blood is forced from the glomerulus, which is this tangle of blood vessels, into the Bowman's capsule, which is the start of the tubule. Importantly though, only very small substances can be filtered through to the Bowman's capsule. So only things like water, amino acids, urea, glucose, and ions. Not anything large, like cells or proteins. Overall, only about 20% of the plasma in the blood is filtered through to the Bowman's capsule as it passes through the glomerulus. The rest of the blood just carries on through the blood vessels. Now that they've filtered out a bit of everything, the fluid passes along the tubules, and the kidneys reabsorb all the things that they want back into the blood vessels. For example, because glucose and amino acids are so useful, we reabsorb almost all of them, whereas we only reabsorb some of the water and ions and reabsorb none of the urea. Because we're selectively reabsorbing only those bits that we want, we call this process selective reabsorption. And remember that it happens throughout this entire region, as the fluid makes its way through the tubule. To finish up, let's look at how we name the different parts of the nephron. We've already seen the glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule. And after the Bowman's capsule comes the proximal convoluted tubule. Then there's the loop of Henle, then the distal convoluted tubule, and finally the collecting duct, which also receives fluid from other nephrons. And any fluid that passes out of the collecting duct is classed as urine. And if we zoom back out a bit, you can see that it's going to pass down the ureter to the bladder and can then be released as waste. Anyways, that's everything for this video. So hope you found it useful and we'll see you again soon.